welcome everyone and thank you once again for joining me on another video and of course welcome to this video and I am none other than Arlena and in today's video actually I will it's kind of like a little vlog and I'm kind of doing this voiceover I'm not really used to the voiceover so forgive me or better yet you know um, I just hope you enjoy the video actually I had the privilege of being in St. Martin for about six weeks um, so this is kind of a video documenting some of the things that I did while I was there in St. Martin. And I had such a great, I really had a great time. I was there for like six weeks. I truly had a great, 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 great time. So up first is St. Martin's Day prayer breakfast at Bible Church in Friars Bay. And of course, they, that there is a, that is a traditional island breakfast. And that there you saw was boiled egg, saltfish, bush tea, baked Johnny cake and fried Johnny cake and of course um, that's everyone enjoying themselves at the prayer breakfast those are the church members and you know family and friends that were invited like myself and we really enjoyed ourselves it was a lot of love fellowship that's my cousin and Mrs. Rumney whose husband is Pastor Rumney from the Christian Assembly in Grand Cars and we really enjoyed ourselves like I said it was a lot of great food fellowship um, great word prayer it was really um, a great way to spend St. Martin Day, which was November 11th. So, yeah. And there's everyone chit-chatting and just having a great time. A lot, a lot, a lot of love. I love this church. I truly do. Up next is Corny's Beach Bar. Corny's Beach Bar is a place that I often frequent when I was living in St. Martin. And their specialty is they make baked Johnny cakes on the grill. And that's the boardwalk. So that's the scenery of what it looks like when you're there. Now that's my breakfast where I have two baked Johnny cakes and a Sprite soda. And there I have my hot porridge that they also sell. This is my favorite place now. I just discovered this while I was there this time. Captain Joe's or also known as Eunice Bukit. And the food is awesome. The customer service is even just as great excellent customer service and these pictures are some of the scenery that I would see every morning as I would sit to eat my breakfast and the owner Mr. Joe which they call Captain Joe is so awesome very nice guy um, there is his chicken soup he makes an awesome chicken soup um, and he makes great paninis this one is a chicken panini so I'll stop by if you're in St. Martin Captain Joe's so this is the West Indies Mall, which is not too far from where Captain Joe's um, establishment is on the waterfront in Marigot. So you just walk across the street, you know, maybe a couple, a block or two, and then you have here the West Indies Mall. Now, this is a high-end mall where they have perfume stores, watches. I mean, there ain't no bargains in this store. Let's just put it that way. Everything in this store is high-end. It's a very beautiful mall. Um, I often like to go and sit here, especially like on Saturdays when it's a chill day for me. Because, boy, the sun was hot when I was, oh, Lord, the sun was hot. And there's my cousin. We were at the mall that particular day when I took these pictures. And that's across the street from the mall, which is the waterfront. Of course, that's Lacoste. Yeah, these are some high-end stores, some high, high-end stores. Yep, and this was their winter wonderland, I guess, theme for this store. Because these pictures were taken, like, I believe, between November, early December. So this was, like, the stores kind of decorated for the Christmas season. And oftentimes I come here and I like to sit at the West Indies Mall to beat the sun. And then I normally would go over to the waterfront, sit down, and I would record a couple of episodes for my podcast. And while I'm in the mall sitting... I would write out some podcast episodes. So yeah, that's the upstairs of the mall. This is another shop inside of the mall. I'm not sure what the name of it is. And a lot of the stores, they're French stores because this is the French side. So up next is Toro's Bar and Grill. And this is also not too far from Captain Joe's. This is one of the Lolo's that is on the waterfront. He sells some great homemade style burgers. And me and my cousin... We were out eating, of course, at Toro's, and that's my burger. 
that's my cousin sitting across from me eating her she had a fish burger i had a regular burger and of course we were sharing the fries and that's like some of the surrounding scene up next is spicy milo spicy milo is a little establishment but boy got some big things it's also in Marigot within walking distance from Toro's and Eunice Bukit and from the mall. They sell all kinds of spices. And as you can see on the right, there's my bag of sorrel. Yeah, because I had to get my sorrel to take back with me to the U.S. I spent quite a penny. <laughs> so here up next is Yvette's Restaurant. Everyone loves Yvette's Restaurant from those that live in St. Martin to all the visitors that come to St. Martin. Yvette's, Yvette's, Yvette. So this is my food. My cousin, they took me here. I had baked spare rib, plantain. Look at those fried Johnny cakes. We had fries, peas and rice, and great fellowship, great food. And there's the rest of my cousins. And we just enjoyed ourselves. While I was also in St. Martin, um, also was tending to some kingdom business. And here I am at the Radio Maranata, which is the only Christian radio station in St. Martin and I was being interviewed for a particular project and it was great. It was really good. Then up next is Moose's Barbecue. Now Moose's was, is where I would frequent every night before I would head on home. And this is in Marigo by the, what is it, the ball field we would say. And every night I would get two chicken wings with that peanut butter sauce, a fried Johnny cake, either with a Sprite soda or a ginger ale. Faithfully every every night so this footage here is my last night that i was eating here the next day i was flying back so i was kind of doing a little video to show um some of what i was eating which is what i would normally always get when i go to mooses which is two barbecue chicken wings with that infamous peanut butter sauce the peanut butter sauce is really great fried johnny cake either with a sprite or a ginger ale and yeah so yeah that was really good and of course while i was there also they had the french side protest as you could see we had blockades yeah we had fire yeah we were blocked in a couple of times because where i was staying by my cousin we were in the french side so it was a bit tough at times then next we have here um some little pictures of the marigo waterfront and that whole stretch of thing that building that's like car rentals that's where you would also go to catch the boat to go to anguilla the ferry or you could also catch a ferry to go to st bart's right there this is also um the waterfront this is right in front of the mall as soon as you come out the mall this is exactly what you will see this is the other side of the marigo waterfront and of course that's the view from captain joe's and that's the west indies mall and that's where you go to catch the boats and the taxis Okay, so this was my last day. Oh, the day before. Well, yeah, it was my last day. So I decided to go to Phillipsburg. Well, actually, I was in Phillipsburg every day, but okay, I stopped to, at this particular day to get some footage. And of course, I was on the boardwalk. And I think there was like three or four um, cruise ships in port. And there were some people waiting for the water taxi, that little building, that white building with the steeple. That's the courthouse. That's a view of the one side of the boardwalk in the beach. Yep. So, yeah, it was really nice. And, you know, I was just just looking out and just reminiscing about the place that I grew up. Oh, so like three or four ships. So there you go. <laughs> yeah, because this was tourist season. And that's the beach. Now, this is just a brief shot of where I was staying. I was staying on the French side with my cousin. So these are her two dogs. These were my two babies, actually, but they're hers, but they're more mine than hers. So there's Orlando, my two buddies. I miss them, and there's Shante, their brother and sister. They used to love whenever I come home. And, of course, this is the bye-bye time. This is my last day. I'm headed to the airport, of course. So this is the bridge, and this is a shot of the Causeway Bridge which is um, between Simpson Bay and it cuts to um, Coal Bay, which leads into Marigo. So, yeah. So, yeah, I enjoyed my, I truly enjoyed myself when I was there. 
I really, you know, had the opportunity and I'm, I'm really, really thankful. So yeah, um, some of these are, because unfortunately my computer keeps kicking out, so I do apologize. So I'm going to try to narrate this as best as I can. Um, yes, the rest of these photos are of us on our way to the airport and I would capture some of the scenery on the side of the road, like the boats. Um, I mean, that against that blue water and those beautiful rocks. Uh, it's just something about that that I just love. And this is us on our way to the airport. Let's see. So yeah, as we get closer and closer to the airport, you'll see a shot. Um, there goes the airport. Yeah, so you'll see a shot of the airport. And yeah, and of course, that's it. Thank you so much for joining me on this video. Hopefully I can get a little better at these types of videos.